In the years to come, Google's Gemini will be a serious competitor to GPT-4 and even GPT-5. But what does this newcomer bring to the table? Today, join me as we explore Google's brand new innovation Gemini that seemingly has the ability to significantly alter the state of the art in artificial intelligence, producing a plethora of new programs to improve the user experience entirely. Gemini is Google's most recent advancement in the field of big language models. Gemini, which stands for Generalized Multimodal Intelligence Network, is a major advancement in artificial intelligence that can now compete with ChatGPT and the powerful GPT-4. This state-of-the-art system, with its unsurpassed comprehension and creation of natural language, is set to completely transform the market, and the people out there cannot be more excited. What makes Gemini stand out is its smooth handling of different data and tasks at once. You see, when AI was first introduced, it could only process text, but those days are long gone. Now, information in any format can be processed and interpreted by Gemini. This includes but is not limited to text, photos, audio, video, 3D models, and graphs. Undoubtedly, Gemini's abilities to perform such a wide variety of jobs are quite remarkable. For example, Gemini is capable of a wide range of tasks, including but not limited to question answering, summarization, translation, captioning, sentiment analysis, and more. Its designers gave it careful consideration so that it would perform exceptionally well in a variety of contexts, giving users the best possible results. The Gemini is not just one model, though, and that's a crucial point to remember. Instead, it stands for a system of related models that operates as a whole to achieve desirable results. Using numerous models in tandem like this then improves the system's precision, productivity, and overall effectiveness. So, what does this exactly mean? Gemini, developed by Google, ushers in a new era of artificial intelligence by expanding the capabilities of machines to comprehend and generate natural language. Yes, it is a competitive competitor in the field of large language models due to its capacity to handle varied data kinds and execute a variety of functions concurrently. But what's even more exciting is that Gemini is Google's cutting-edge attempt to mold the future of artificial intelligence, which will revolutionize the tech market like never before, without us exaggerating this. And now for the nuts and bolts of its working and mechanism. To begin with, a multimodal encoder and a multimodal decoder are integral parts of Gemini's groundbreaking architecture. This way, it is able to process and generate outputs in several modalities from a single unified understanding of inputs and the task at hand thanks to its cutting-edge architecture. The task of the multimodal encoder is further to transform data from multiple sources into a uniform format that can be understood by the decoder. So, if a picture is provided as input and the goal is to generate a caption, the encoder will painstakingly convert the image into a vector representation that accurately depicts the image's complex aspects and meaning. Additionally, the multimodal decoder takes over once the encoded inputs are prepared, using the data to produce outputs optimized for the given task and modality. In the case of the image, the decoder would produce text that provides a vivid description of the image's substance, ultimately condensing its essence in an interesting caption. Similarly, Gemini's specific benefits and unique capabilities set it different from competitors like GPT-4. That's because Google's Gemini demonstrates an unprecedented degree of flexibility. This means, if you're looking for a huge language model, go no further than Gemini. It can handle any data and any task with ease and no fine-tuning required unlike other models. It also has the extraordinary capability of learning from different domains and information without being constrained by labels or categories. At the end of the day, this versatility allows Gemini to overcome the limitations of models trained on specialized domains by effectively taking on unexpected and unknown circumstances. Not to forget, Gemini is really effective, because when compared to models that process each modality independently, it requires less processing power and memory. Gemini's distributed training technique goes on to make use of a network of computers to speed up the learning process which then increases productivity, making excellent use of all available resources. And then comes Gemini scalability, which is one of its most impressive features. What happens is that it easily expands to handle more data and more complex models without slowing down or losing quality. Its excellent architecture and robustness 
allow it to handle growing data and model loads with minimal impact on performance. Meanwhile, parameter count is a typical metric used to judge the size and complexity of a language model. The model's parameters are the numbers it uses to make predictions and produce new text in response to new input. The more parameters a model has, the more it may be trained to generate a wide variety of correct predictions. The training and use phases, though, will necessitate more memory and processing power. As a result, with its whopping 1 trillion parameters, GPT-4 is roughly six times larger than GPT-3.5, which has 175 billion parameters. Though, GPT-4 is one of the largest language models ever created due to the substantial amount of parameters it uses. But, today's when Gemini really shines, so let's focus on that for now. Then again, the four Gemini sizes introduced by Google are the Gecko, the Otter, the Bison, and the Unicorn. And although the precise numbers of each size's parameters have not been made public, reasonable estimates can be made using the data at hand. For now, Unicorn is probably the largest of them, and its parameters may be similar to if not exactly the same as GPT-4. That said, most of us are also aware that a language model's capabilities and performance are heavily influenced by the number of parameters it has. Basically, what we are trying to say is that there is hope for improved learning, generation, and general proficiency as GPT-4 and Gemini continue to expand in size and complexity. Whereas a strong infrastructure is required for training and utilizing these models successfully, yet, as the number of parameters increases, so does the demand for computational resources and memory. On the other end of it all, Gemini also continues to stand out from other huge language models due to its interaction and originality. As per various reports, it may produce results in a wide range of formats to suit the needs of individual users. Additionally, Gemini is not limited by pre-existing data or predetermined templates, allowing it to fully unleash its creative potential in producing innovative and diverse results. So, let's quickly look at some real-world applications to see how Gemini outperforms GPT-4 in complex time-consuming jobs. For starters, Gemini excels in responding to questions posed in a variety of formats. To do so, you must ask questions that call for the combination of disparate data sources, such as text and images. Let's take an example saying, who is the author of this book, with a picture of the cover presented to Gemini. Similarly, you could display an image of a weird animal and ask its name. In this way, Gemini is able to answer this kind of multimodal inquiry since it draws on its comprehension of both textual and visual data. Gemini can also aggregate information from multiple sources, which is a remarkable achievement in itself. To understand this, let's pretend you have a piece of data that includes not just text but also audio. Now, some tasks call for a brief synopsis in text or voice, such as summarizing a podcast episode or news item, where Gemini is up to the task since it can understand both written and spoken language, allowing it to condense large amounts of data into digestible summaries. Not to forget, Gemini is exceptional at translating between different media. Information in various formats, including text and video, must be translated for this purpose. So let's say you have a video that needs to be translated into another language, like a lecture or a trailer for a movie. Effective communication across language boundaries is facilitated by Gemini's ability to combine its textual and visual translation skills in a seamless manner, resulting in accurate and contextually suitable translations. So, the fact that Gemini can complete such a wide range of jobs demonstrates its flexibility and adaptability. It simply pushes the limits of what is possible in natural language understanding and generation by capitalizing on its talents across several modalities. Meanwhile, its innovative outputs and user-friendly interfaces make it possible for anyone to discover and interact with data in ways never before possible. So, with the improved user experience and brand new promises Gemini is set to deliver, how excited does it make you be using something other than ChatGPT? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Until next time, take care.